Well, as you can see, it is a lazy, rainy Sunday out there, which means it's a good day to be in the shed. This is episode five of the shed. Don't be too surprised. Another video in less than a week almost. So, uh, as I said, it's a rainy day out there today, so might as well do something here in the shed. Uh, I'm thinking about a little project to help clean things up, make it a little easier to move around in here. So we'll take a quick look around the shed, let you see what kind of state things are in. What I'm really looking for is to be able to get from one end of the shed to the other without trampling over too much stuff here. So, as you can see, the big obstacle for that is that air hose back there. So, today we're going to make a little air hose holder and uh, be a quick little project should be kind of fun use the bandsaw that sort of thing okay so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, start with a 2 by 6 I'm not even going to measure it I'm just going to cut this down to a size that I can manage inside of here because the shed's just not cleaned out enough yet that I can operate with a whole lot of room. Now I've got a manageable size probably going to put an angle on this and just make uh, something to hang that uh, Air hose on. You're going to need a pencil. I'm not trying to win any contests with this, but I wouldn't mind it looking halfway decent. All right, we're going to attach this part to the wall. So we're going to have a hook come up here, something like that. And then it's going to come down, something like that. And we'll do this on the bandsaw.
All right, so as you can see, I still have all my fingers. I decided not to uh, try to do the uh, impromptu router table with my uh, workmate, and I decided to actually mount the router in the router table extension. So we'll go ahead and do it like this. Okay, so if you were wondering how I was going to deal with the end of this, I did put the router on it, but that's not going to made up to the wall very well, so I'm going to just go ahead and knock that off. And that's taken care of. Pocket hole jig. All right, so I'm gonna hang it up right here. We'll see how that works. Well, as you can see, you can now pretty much get from one end of the shed to the other, for the most part. This corner still needs some work, and that corner still needs some work, but at least we've got the floor cleaned out and that path in between. Hey, where'd that come from? I uh, just slapped that together and already I don't like it because it's got nothing to keep the hose on that end, but it's going to have to do for now. It's getting the job done. That about does it for this episode of the shed. Uh, we did get that taken care of. It took longer than I wanted it to. Progress is slow, but it's still progress, and it's a lot better walking through there without that air hose in the way. So, uh, we did not get to the storage solution for my wife, as I had previously thought I might do. Uh, we'll get that coming up um, in a, another episode pretty soon. Uh, what I've been saving here for a while is this uh, Thor drill. Um, I've been kind of uh, really looking forward to uh, trying this one out for Does It Run. Uh, this thing is uh, this is the sort of thing that they might have used in mining. Um, I did some uh, investigating on this, and uh, this was actually sold as mining equipment. Uh, you've got this beefy handle here. And uh, if it got caught on something, it might just spin you right around. So, I've um, been looking forward to trying this one out, and I've got it plugged in, and we're going to see what happens.
Well, I'm pretty pleased about that. So, maybe next episode we'll get to the uh, storage solution for the cans in the uh, kitchen. Uh, until then, thanks for watching.